DJ Premier, you're checking out what's in my headphones.com. I don't have headphones on, but I know what's in my headphones. Boy Red Young, what's in my headphones.com. I'm chilling here with the man, the legend, uh, Mr. DJ Premier. What's going on, man? Good, good. Glad to be in Chicago. Um, this is regular territory for us, so it's just another day in the shy. No doubt, no doubt, man. So, um, as a producer, man, you've pretty much covered all the area that a producer can can cover, man. Um, except, kind of own your own label. So, what made you feel like now is the time to step up and come in, and become an executive with Year Round Records? I mean, basically, just to um, continue what we've been doing from the time that I got into the music business. <clears throat> a lot of the major labels don't really put out the style of music that that I make. You know, they they've gone to a younger uh you know demographic of, of artists where they don't really want to uh let the over 30 you know get in anymore and they look at it that, that we're done so they don't even acknowledge our style so it's like you know now that they're not passionate about it look they're crumbling and we're still alive and well and we're still in business you know uh the when you're out of business is a totally different story we're still in business so there's a lot of business to be had and there's a and there's a, a market for what i've been doing because the audience that loves what i do is wondering when are we going to drop something else so now we're giving it to them uh, and that's really the main reason why i started <clears throat> yeah, you got the compilation dropping next month. Uh, get used to us, right? Okay. Um, some artists you've worked with before, as well as some new talent. Um, tell us a little bit about um, about that record. Um, it's really a, I call it a stall album because it's just to fill in to, to fill in while we. Uh, it's almost like an appetizer while while you're waiting for the main dish. Here's something to tide you over until. So <clears throat> it's a. Uh, uh, I just took pieces of, of projects that I have coming out for next year and including the three artists that are signed to the label, which is the NYGs, also Nick Javis and also um, Khalil. Uh, Khalil's from Texas, Nick Javis is from Jersey, and NYGs are from Uptown, Manhattan, and uh, in, in the Bronx. Uh, there's two members. There's Panchi, who's from the Bronx, and uh, Chabino, who's from Dykeman, which is uh, Uptown. We call it Uptown, but it's Manhattan, but... It's like uptown if you, if you you know that's the street term so it's uptown and then it's Harlem word so those are on deck for 2011 yeah. um, in addition to those three projects that you got coming up um, I heard rumors that there was a, a Pete Rock and Primo collaboration album is that true is that true yeah uh, when we, we me and Pete played a Pete Rock versus Premier concert in uh, Tokyo to celebrate 25 years of Manhattan record store being open and uh, they're the ones that came up with the idea not the album but just the concert and then that turned into conversation with Pete on in the van that turned into actually his manager uh, at, the, at the time so and that just from the talking back and forth <clears throat> it went into you know, I used to do an album, and we looked at each other like, what's up? And he's like, you want to do it? And then and he was like, yo, why don't we do six songs each? You do six and get six artists. I get six artists, and we don't tell each other who, and we just put it out there. But uh, Pete had leaked out a couple of people that he was using, that he was <clears throat> uh, going to have on the album. And I'm like, I thought we ain't supposed to tell nobody. So now we've gone back to keeping our mouth shut. So he leaked out a couple, and I leaked out a couple, and then now you got to just wait until until it's all ready to go. But it'll be a fun project. It'll it's gonna. He even wants me to do scratching on his, and he rhyme on one like a a verse on one of mine. You know, just just having fun. Yeah. But it'll be an easy project to do, just because it's gonna be fun to make that. Like I can already hear it before it's even done. And he actually left one of his in my in my Pro Tools uh, session. I told him I heard it already, and he's like, "Oh, you did?" I'm like, "Yeah, you shouldn't have left it in my Pro Tools session." You know. Come on, you know he did that on purpose, man. And the beat is hot too. And, you know, yeah, it's crazy. So I'm like, "All right, I got I got to come with it." So now you got to get that magic. Yeah, no doubt. So yeah, P Rock vs Premier will be next year, and also Return of the Boom Bip with KRS One, which is the second installment of Return of the Boom Bap. And, you know, just continuing on that. That'll be fun because KRS is real quick, and he, you know, like he could do an album in two weeks, and it's just he already just knows what to do. It's like instant, and so it's so easy and more fun to do it with those types of artists because. It just comes. It just comes out right, you know. Especially after working with him on Boom Bap, I understand his work uh, and method, and he's just that fast, you know. And, and he he has he commands so much in the hip hop world. It's KRS, you know. Oh, no doubt, man. That's cool. Twenty eleven shaping up to be crazy for you, no doubt. Um, 
some of the artists that you haven't worked with. I mean, you've worked with everybody, you know, Strain Aguilera, Jay-Z, you know, Guru, rest in peace, Big Shug, everybody. I mean, I even heard like a maxi single back in the day. You had did a remix with Brandy. You know what I'm saying? It was, yeah, it's crazy. So, I mean, who out there haven't you worked with yet that you would like to? Definitely Ghostface. Uh, we were on the Rock the Bells tour and talked about how hopefully working together. Uh, well, I'd love to work with him. Uh, me and Raekwon have talked about working together. Uh, you know, of course, Buster. We, 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 we're working on getting it right now to get on his album. So, you know, him. I just worked with Game and did a joint for his album. Uh, so it's called Born in the Trap. That came out dope. Um, so um, who, who else? Uh, um want to work with Drake. Yeah, I'd like to work with him. I'd like to work with J. Cole. Yeah. Nicki Minaj, I'd like to work with her too. I'd like to work with Lil Wayne. No doubt, man, no doubt. Um, about that, um, there was some, some, some things on the, on the net. And Eminem too. Eminem, got, 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 got to get slim, slim, slim Shady on there, so. I can already hear that. He spoke to about doing something, so, you know, down the line, you know, I'd like, I'd like to work with Dr. Dre too, have him spit over one of my beats. Hell yeah. Dre, Dre, Dre knows how. Even if somebody else writes a rhyme, he always knows how to make it sound like it's Dre. You know, like it, it, whatever the attitude of the record, he brings that attitude out where it's like, yo, I feel Dre on it. I don't feel the person that wrote it. You know what I'm saying? So you heard that the Kush record is crazy. Yeah, I just heard it uh, with Akon and um and Snoop. You know, so I'm waiting for Detox just like everybody else is. <laughs> no doubt. Now there was some some things you know on the internet that the you know the the computer F boys was talking about. You know, cause you were talking about some of the new cats that were bringing it. Drake, J Cole, Wayne. Yeah, they, 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 I remember Showbiz called me from DITC and was like, "Yo, I've never seen people tear you up on the internet. Everybody gives you love." Love, 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 and everybody's mad that you said that they're bringing lyricism back. And I'm, my thing is, why don't you bring me some artists that are not that are no older than 23, that are on the level of what they're doing, what Drake and J Cole are doing. Bring them or send me an MP3, put or put it up on a blog or something. Where are those other artists that are equivalent to what you're against or better right. than them? You know, if they're better than them. Send them to me. I got a radio show. You y'all know what I'm doing. And and and, and then they would say, they, and then they would just the same the same f boys that you call them. Yeah. Uh, were like, you know, why didn't he mention Joel Ortiz? Joel Ortiz has been around for six years, right. so y'all are late. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and I I, work, I just work with Joel on two records, that, and, and we have a record that's in rotation on Hot 97 in New York right now. That that was that came by accident and turned into a hit. You know, uh, it was an instrumental for one of my beats that collected Dust Volume One series of, of my instrumentals that I only release on vinyl and digital. And Volume Two is about to come out in January, and uh, and and uh, um, just by accident, Funk Master Flex was going to his office, and his in his uh, intern was playing it in the office, just instrumental. Yeah. And he was like, "Yo, what's that? What is that beat?" And he said, "Oh, Premier did it." He's like, "Who's rhyming on?" He said, "Nobody. It's an instrumental album." He said, "Give me that." Gave it to Flex. Flex played it. I was on tour in Europe, so I didn't know. Uh, Flex played it on the radio, just bumping the instrumental, like, "Yo, this is gutter." And he goes, "Yo, Joel Ortiz, I can hear you spitting on that." That's why he says, yo, Flex, I got the kite. I was tuned in Saturday night because he heard him say it. So he was like, give, he reached out to Flex, said, give me the beat. And then he spit on it. I got home from Europe, and everybody's like, yo, Flex is killing that joint you did. And I'm like, what joint? Because I knew I didn't have anything ready to go. And he's like, that joint off your instrumental album. I'm like, my instrumental album? Because I knew that it had come out. Yeah. So I'm like, what beat? And they said, I don't know what it's called, but, you know, it makes that thing at the beginning. And and I'm like, let me call Flex. Call Flex the next day and was like, yo, what's going on? And he told me the deal. He's like, yo, I wouldn't mind having another verse on there and some scratches. I was like, you know what? Let me call Joel. Call Joel. He said, all right, I'll go and do some more. He said, but put the scratches on it first so I could feel it. Did the scratches, sent it back to him. He sent it back to me with three verses, but we only used two. So on my album, I'm going to put it on there, too, as a sing like Bilal record, but I'm going to add the verse that nobody heard along with it. So it's going to be a three verse instead of the two. So no one's heard this verse, and he killed that one, too, and then I'm going to do an extra ending with the scratches. So... And so I'm gonna call it version three. The game star has got to be the short shot. And it's like that.